So I believe this is clip one of, well, the first chatty clip since starting this channel on channel challenge. We are now on day six. Yeah, it's sixth of September. We're on day six. I have done it every single day. Yesterday I just walked. I felt like I can't run every single day. That would just be unhealthy. <laughs> so yesterday I just walked for half an hour rather than ran. I was also really tired. You know, you just reach those points in life when you're just like, I wasn't necessarily physically tired. I was just like tired and I just didn't want to do it. So I still went, I still got dressed, I still woke up, but I just walked and I actually really needed it. And I'm so glad I did that. But today is Friday. As I said, this is the first chatty clip since I embarked on this challenge. I'm doing this in the afternoon. It is nearly six o'clock. I don't necessarily mind going after work as long as it's like before dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym after work. I mean, it's six days in, so I haven't noticed or felt anything, but. However, I have thoroughly enjoyed going. The act of doing just like a little bit of exercise every single day, I'm still, apart from yesterday where I just walked, I'm still running for two minutes and walking for three minutes. So it's not too taxing. It's not like I've gone in really hard. I'm trying to run 5K every day. Like I'm going in pretty chill, but I'm just enjoying the routine of like going to the gym every single day. I'm not gonna lie, some mornings, I just wanna stay in bed. Like I think it was Wednesday morning. I was like, nope. <laughs> but I forced myself up. I got out of bed. I went to the gym. As I said, today I only didn't because I've got a flexible enough day when I can go whenever. But yeah, it is day six. Still going strong. I've not really noticed anything physically, emotionally, other than the fact that I feel quite. It's quite hard because we're going through quite a busy time at work, so it's like difficult to know how it's helping me with stress and whatnot. But I do feel like I naturally make healthier decisions when I go to the gym. I find it interesting, like I naturally drink more, I naturally eat less rubbish. I just naturally make healthy decisions when I'm being healthier. And I think it'd be quite interesting to see. I filmed a clip, a very kind of honest clip of my physique on day one and I don't necessarily think it's going to be like a huge change from day one to day 30 because it's the 30 days in September or 31. I don't think there's going to be that many much change from the beginning of the month to the end of the month but I'm not really a weighing kind of person. It's a very long personal story but I just, me and the scales are like not mates but I'm quite interested to see what it will look like, what I will look like by the end but I'm more interested to know how I'm going to feel by the end. My end goal, the end goal of this whole thing is that I will be able to run 5k. That is like ultimate goal. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do it in a month. I might be, not sure. But I want to build to that moment. I want to, I've never done it, I've literally never run a 5k in my life. I want to be able to get to the end of a period of time and be able to run a 5k. I feel like that would just be like such an achievement. And I, that's what I want to build up to. Anything else will be a benefit. I want to feel great and I want to run 5k. <sighs> I'm ready for the gym. I've tied my hair up. I've got dressed. I'm basically all in Gymshark all the time. Not that you can really see it, but I pretty much live in Gymshark at the gym. I've also got a US Pro set. So it's US Pro and Gymshark. That's like pretty much exclusively what I'm wearing. But yeah, I've got my little gym leggings on and a little gym bra. And I'm going to head off to the gym and go for a run. So, day six, let's go. It is now the 8th of September. Today will be day eight, the beginning of week two. I can't believe I'm still going and I've not missed a single day. There was day five where I was quite tired. So I just went on a incline walk rather than like a, a run. But I can't believe I've made it this far. Like I think this is the longest consistently I've been to the gym in a while. And I'm talking a couple of years. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm still going, still going strong. What I have been doing is walking for three minutes, running for two minutes, walking for three minutes, running for two minutes, walking for three minutes for half an hour. What I have noticed over the last like two or three days maybe is it's getting easier, which is nice. I've gone in easy. I didn't want to go like straight into like running constantly because one, I don't think I can do that at all. And two, that just seems way too hard. But it is now the start of week two and I've made it to week two, first and foremost. And two, I think I need to like up the ante a little bit. Otherwise it's just gonna get too easy and then it's not a workout anymore. So I'm gonna move from three minutes of walking and two minutes of running to two and a half minutes of walking and two and a half minutes of running and do that for half an hour. And I think that's the plan for week two. It's kind of like a couch to 5K, but just tweaked slightly. That's the plan for today's workout. I found I was recovering very easily during those three minutes. I was basically like, my heart rate and everything had like calmed down within like about 90 seconds. So I think this will allow me a bit more time of running and a lot less time of recovering. Well, not a lot less. I think this will allow a bit more running and a bit less recovery time. And then we will touch base next week and decide whether I should up the ante again. But yeah, still going strong. Next week, I actually have some social plans in the evenings, which, because I'm doing these the following morning, it will be quite interesting to see what happens. So on Monday, which is tomorrow, is our wedding anniversary. So we're going out for like a really nice meal. And then the Tuesday night, we're going to see Rocky Horror's picture show. No, what's it called? Rocky Horror? Rocky Horror Show. I forget what the full name is, because I work with the producer and we're going as like a guest. And I'm really really excited but that tends to be like i've seen it before i saw it in like 22 it was definitely like everything was back to normal but then people were still always off with covid was that 21 or 22 can't remember but yeah and that was singing again and i'm so excited i've seen it before that as well my granddad showed me a um this isn't the point of this video but my granddad showed me a brochure now what do you call them so fingers crossed it goes to plan as i said i will probably always have at least one active recovery day during the week because that's just like just too much but yeah good morning today is day 10 so we are a third of the way through the challenge last night was our one year wedding anniversary so if i had a choice i would still be in bed <laughs> But I think the whole point of this challenge is to go regardless. And then the theory is hopefully it will start a new habit because if I went only when I wanted to go, but I wouldn't really go. <laughs> I'm awake. It is 23 minutes past six. We are on week two, which means we are running as long as we are walking. I will need to do a rest, like an active recovery rest day at some point. I think the best day for that is probably tomorrow. Tonight I'm seeing Rocky Horror at the Dominion and I feel like there's like an after party and all sorts because it's a gala night and I feel like that's going to get quite messy. So <laughs> I think it's probably best I save my actual recovery date for tomorrow, which means I need to run through it. So I feel okay today. Like we had some wine with dinner, but like not like an excessive amount. So, I've got a YouTube video downloaded on my phone and let's head to the gym and keep going with this challenge. Right, let's go. So, it is another day. Today is the 13th of September. Oh my God, it's Friday the 13th. I didn't even register that all day, but today it's the 13th of September. It is the 13th day of this challenge, which means tomorrow we've hit the two week mark. And the day after tomorrow is the halfway mark, which, oh my God, I actually can't believe I've done this. I think this, if I actually complete this, it will be the longest I've ever actually seen a proper fitness thing through. I mean, I did do Couch 5K and get to like week seven, or was it week six? during lockdown so like I got quite a way through that I think I repeated a couple of weeks more than once because I kept like skipping it so I'm, I'm like this is the actual if I finish this I think this is the actual time I've only ever kept up like a, a proper fitness routine 
in probably my entire life. So I'm really, really hoping I can do it. As I said, today is the day before we hit the two week mark and two days away before we hit the halfway mark. I'm seeing literally no physical changes yet, but I am feeling it emotionally. Like I, considering work and life and everything, like there is not a single element of my life at the moment, apart from my relationship, that isn't stressful. Like everything in my life at the moment is stressful. It's all stressful for like, good reasons and like I've got nothing to complain about but it's all very 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 stressful and I think I'm only coping because I'm going running and I physically like not physically as in like how I look but physically in the way that I'm like standing walking feeling I feel like I feel like a not different woman because that's really dramatic but like a better version of myself and I'm naturally making better decisions it's really weird like I'm naturally drinking slightly less because I know I've got to get up in the morning which is a good thing because I can still have a great time stone cold sober um I still drink but like I drink a lot less I eat better like I'm snacking less on like shop brought food and snacking more on like home baked goods so I'm snacking less I am drinking a lot more water I, like I said, I'm drinking a lot less alcohol. I'm going to bed at a better time because I'm like forcing myself to wake up every day at like 20 past six. I just, as I said, I don't think I physically, be interesting at the end of the video to compare the clips I filmed at the beginning versus the clips I'm gonna film at the end. I don't think I physically changed, i.e. like weight loss, the way I look or anything, but I feel amazing. And like my legs are occasionally tired, but I think because I've gone in relatively easy, as in like, it's not easy but I've gone in like I haven't just gone straight to like running for 20 or 30 minutes I'm doing this like gradual half running half walking building it up bit by bit I'm actually not exhausted like I feel my muscles feel like I've done something but they're not so tired I can't walk the next day I feel amazing and I really really hope I can keep this up but yeah, day 13, I am gonna head to the gym. This is my little, basically midway check-in. I'm having the best time. If you guys, I'm just sick. Honestly, I just watch a YouTube video and go for a run and it's like so good. I'm having honestly so much fun. And I've already discovered what my local gym would be if we moved to this new house. And like, am I in my fitness era? I might be. But yeah, I'm gonna head off to the gym now and I will check in with you guys on a different day. Today is the halfway mark. I've done it every day, literally every single day. I am now starting to feel it. My muscles hurt like quite a lot. If I look at my like health stats month on month, which is what I was just doing, it's insane. Every single stat is like significantly up. Like, uh,. This is my average step count month on month. This is my average active energy month on month. And then this is my active time. Every like stat is way up. I, like I said, I'm now starting to feel it all my muscles hurt. I did a workout yesterday where I felt like I could have kept running in terms of my fitness and my stamina in my lungs and my breathing, which I have really struggled with in the past <laughs> but my legs just couldn't take it I just couldn't like take the step up so I kept at the two and a half minutes of walking two and a half minutes of running ratio today I'm gonna have to do an active recovery day which is absolutely fine I factored in quite a few of these over the month I've had two already today will be my third I just I don't think I can do another day of like running and I think that's totally fine I just want to still go to the gym so that I get mentally prepared that every single day I do a bit of exercise. The intention is that I will eventually be able to run for half an hour, but I also can't completely destroy my legs, my muscles, my well-being in the steps of trying to get there by doing it very quickly. So, as I said, today is the midway point. I'm suffering, I'm tired. So it's active recovery day. I'm just gonna go for a walk on the treadmill. Nice and slow, nice and easy, but still get my steps in. Currently at nine and a half thousand steps for the day. So I don't really need to do those more steps, but I haven't actually been to the gym today. And I feel like knowing me and my brain, if I don't feel like I'm achieving something, I then don't wanna go near it ever again. <laughs> so if I don't go to the gym today, 
in my mind I will have failed and then I will just stop. So I'm gonna go to the gym, but we're gonna walk and we're gonna take a chill. Let's do the next half of the month. Let's keep going. And then I think when we get into October, I won't do an everyday type of thing, but I might do like a four times a week type of thing. I'm gonna see how I feel, but halfway through, that's my midway check-in. Let's keep going. Hi, it is the 17th. It is day 17. I have had to have two active recovery days in a row. I think I mentioned it in the last clip, but I might be wrong. That I was tired. I'm talking like my muscles and my legs were just tired. So I had two active recovery days in a row, which basically just meant I've been walking rather than running on the treadmill. So I've still woken up, I've still gone to the gym. I've just not like run. I think today I'm feeling okay. So I think today we'll be back to normal. Let's go day 17. I can do this. Oh, let me get a little bit taller. The day was tough. Like that was not easy. <laughs> it was the first day or the first like beginning of the week of the increased running frequency. I also did do a cool down, like I did stretch, which haven't been doing very much. <laughs> but based on the fact that I basically had to have like two days off, like I still went and walked fast, but like off of this like running journey because of my muscles, I cooled down. So I stretched. So it's now 10 past seven and I'm like 10 minutes later to what I normally am in the morning. And it's quite like, discombobulating um so i think i might tomorrow wake up five minutes earlier to factor in the like cool down period i'm not sure i'll see how today goes i've got to do hair washing and everything so if anything today is quite a busy day so did it it was hard like this was probably the hardest day to keep going like in the middle of the exercise routine so i'll see you guys tomorrow today is the 22nd which means there are eight days left. Where are the hair bands? Here they are. So yeah, today marks eight days left in this challenge. Oh, itchy head. I've been at home for a family birthday. So I went for a run before I went to the family birthday and I went for a run outside. So I transferred the run from the treadmill to nature and I actually really enjoyed it. I still did a very similar run setup style of running for a few minutes, walking for a few minutes in different intervals, but I did it outside. I went to the park that's around the corner from where we live and it was actually so nice. I'm not gonna do it today because it's dark and I don't particularly want to run around in the dark, but I'm thinking that maybe that could be like something that I do. Today is another day. I do genuinely think when this challenge is over, I'm looking forward to doing a different type of exercise. As much as running is great and my ultimate goal is still to be able to run for 5K, I am getting a little bit bored of it. <laughs> so I am looking forward to doing weights or spinning or like, something that's not just running on a treadmill for half an hour and staring at my phone. So I'm going a little bit crazy, but there are eight days left and I can do this. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you a full rundown of how I'm feeling at the end of it, but I'm gonna head off to the gym now. It is 10 to eight, so I think this is probably the latest I've ever been, but I have been at home this weekend. So 10 to eight, let's head to the gym and get in today's run. create a timetable because it was getting too confusing but I'm now on two minutes of walking and three and a half minutes of running so yeah like I said I made a little timetable of when in the half an hour to do each thing let's go today is the penultimate day it is the 29th of September it's my 29th run because sometimes I walk mostly I run <laughs> And let's do this and then tomorrow it will be finished. I actually can't believe that I have basically gone on a treadmill or gone for a run every single day this month so far. <laughs> and yeah, I've got today's, I've got tomorrow mornings 
And then I don't have to go on a treadmill unless I want to. I'm slightly fed up with a treadmill. <laughs> I don't ever want to see a treadmill again. <laughs> I'm in a little blue number. Got my blue Apple Watch strap on. The blue top, which is from Gymshark. And then the leggings are also from Gymshark. So I'm all in blue and I'm going to head off to do my penultimate run. So then tomorrow is the final run. I think I'm going to take it relatively easy today. I'm due on. It's not really how I wanted to end the series, but I'm due on. So I'm feeling quite tired. But yeah, I'm going to do a relatively light, easy one today. Then I'm going to go really hard tomorrow as the very last day. But I'm checking in here. I think I might be a bit wonky. Is that better? <laughs> I'm checking in here to finish off this video. It's going up like 20 days after I finished it, but that's partly because my camera broke and I totally intended to film the kind of round up ending clip weeks ago and then my camera broke and I didn't replace it and then I did replace it and then I forgot. So we're finishing the video now. It's going up a little bit late, but I went on a treadmill and either ran or did a recovery walk every single day for 30 days and i actually can't believe it if you've ever had the expression habit what are they called habits habit stacking that's kind of what i'm trying to do at the moment i'm trying to like stack all of these like really healthy habits and really productive habits on top of each other and i think this was like one of the first steps and i have gone to the gym i mean it's only been three weeks since the end of this challenge but i've gone to the gym all done a run three times a week since this challenge has ended and i feel amazing like i feel so like productive and healthy and then feeling stronger i am going to overlay some before and after clips mainly they were taken on the first of september and the very last it might even be the first of october to be honest but it's more to show that going for a run every day for a month is not going to help you lose weight like i haven't really lost much weight at all in this kind of like period of time and it wasn't really my objective like i know i'm slightly uh more curvy than i probably should be <laughs> but i actually didn't do this whole thing to lose weight i did this whole thing to reach an end goal of being able to run for 5k without stopping i still haven't got there yet this morning i ran for 12 minutes without stopping which the thought of doing that like two months ago would have like completely blown my entire brain like i ran for 12 minutes then i walked for three minutes and then i did three minutes running two minutes walking three minutes running two minutes walking three minutes running cool down and like that is like so much longer than i could have ever run before I did this whole thing and now I've sort of pivoted it slightly so I do a spin class well at least I have the last three weeks I do a spin class on Tuesday and then do a run sometime in the rest of the week and then on a Sunday I do like an upper body workout which is more like weights based and I'm having the best time although I've got this perfect routine down and I move in just over a week so it's oh well <laughs> but I don't, I don't genuinely, I don't weigh myself. I'm not going to weigh myself. I'm never going to be someone who weighs themselves for a multitude of reasons. I weighed myself for my life insurance and I think that's the first time I weighed myself for 10 years. I just, I just don't want to do it. It's not my thing. I will go based on how I feel uh, to a degree how I look and that that is the end of that. That is as far as I'm going to go. But I feel fitter in myself, which is all i wanted i wanted to be able to run and not die <laughs> so dramatic i'm actually i think you you watched me throughout this video struggle for a bit the sun just come out struggle for a bit have a really nice time and really enjoy running and then despair and want to do nothing but ever run on a treadmill ever again <laughs> I think because I'm now not running every day and I'm running like once a week and then I'm doing other exercise kind of around that I'm actually now really enjoying it and I'm really enjoying the challenge of running the feeling you get when you're running the kind of little bit you can like build onto it each individual time and because I'm running once a week rather than every single day i feel like i can actually weirdly progress faster because i'm like recovering in between i wouldn't necessarily recommend this i am not a doctor i am not a physiotherapist i am not a pt i am not uh, even fit like i i just i did this to kind of force myself into it and i did take their number of recovery days i think i took about seven maybe six throughout the month so like i didn't literally run every day like some days i just walked but i 
I feel great. Yeah, I just wanted to wrap this video up here. I've been chatting for six minutes. I actually really enjoyed editing this video. It's actually quite a lot of fun. And yeah, I think I may now be in my fitness era. I'm very much looking forward to what my new fitness routine is gonna look like in the new house. That's all I can say. So yeah, I feel great. I'm still exercising. I haven't really lost much weight at all, but I feel great and I feel strong and that's all I can ask for. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me go through uh, some emotions, shall we say, some ups and downs. <laughs> And yeah, uh, I hope you guys will stick around for the next journey of my fitness, which will be finding a fitness routine in a whole new town slash place slash house slash lifestyle. And fingers crossed, I can keep it up. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe because my life is about to change in all the best ways. And leave a comment, I forget what I just said, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.